So today we have to do, we call them adjoint of matrix. What is this? But to know about adjoint of matrix, you need to know what is transpose of matrix. Okay. Now, what is yeah. transpose of matrix? Let's take an example. I'm taking an example. Suppose A, B, C, D. This is my two by two matrix. Now, if I'm going to do transpose, we are using T as a transpose. Okay. Transpose means row will be column and column will be row. So we call it row column interchange. We call it row column interchange okay yeah so how do you do that row will be column and column will be row let's see if i'm going to do transpose of this one this matrix so whatever is in the row that means a b it will be in column and whatever is the second one it will be coming as column so what is happening see if you consider with row wise, row is become column. And if you consider column wise, look at that, it has become row. Isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. that's why I call it as a row column interchange. This is called transpose. Now, is it applicable for three by three matrix? Yes, it is applicable for there also. If you are going to take any anything like suppose uh, I'm going to take a general one, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I. So this is going to be, transpose is going to be like A, D, G, B, E, H, and C, F, I. Okay, meaning is clear? Yeah, I see. Yeah, now you're going to do a joint of the matrix, a joint of the matrix, how you're going to do it, a joint. So we represent a notation as A, D, J, okay? And the matrix name, it could be A, B, C, D, M, whatever it is. Suppose I'm taking a matrix, as I'm taking some numerical example, suppose one, two, three, four. This is my two by two matrix. Now I'm going to find the adjoint of the, adjoint of A is when you're going to consider the matrix, the matrix will be in the form of, this will be plus, minus, minus plus so this order has to be maintained like plus minus minus plus this is applicable for two by two matrix okay three by three i'm coming i'm coming to that point so how you're going to consider now if you if you just look at this if i'm going to consider one so i'm row and column if i cancel it my remaining digit is four so my first digit over will be four now, if we consider second value, means for the second position. So then row is cancelled, column is cancelled. So ultimately, my next value is three. If we consider third value, means this value. So row is cancelled, column is cancelled. So remaining value is two. So this is my value is two. Now the fourth one, if we consider this one, so the remaining value is one. So this should be consider as one now transpose of this value <clears throat> whatever rearrangement we have done yet now how you're going to make this one so transpose of this one means plus four negative two negative three one okay so yeah. this one is after the transpose has become uh after the transpose become two by two matrix and this is called adjoint of matrix now let's try with the three by three matrix suppose the matrix is i'm considering random values so one two one three four one two one suppose it is zero so it has become three by three matrix now, if I call this matrix as matrix M, I'm going to find what is 
adjoint of M. Okay. Adjoint of M is, as I said, so it says we maintain the order. So I'm writing the order first, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. Okay? Yeah. Clear? Now, how are you going to do that? Now, if you're going to consider this value, uh, oh, sorry, um, this value means first value. So, row and column, if I omit it, I have 4110 is my matrix. Okay? So, as you have already studied about determinant, that determinant should be come over here. 10. Next one. Similarly, the second position. Second position means you have to cross this. So what is remaining? 3, 1, 2, 0. So we are going to write over here. 3, 1, 2, 0. Okay. And the third one. Third one is third position. So this is the row and this is the column. What is 3, 4, 2, 1? Right? So write 3, 4, 2, 1. Okay. Similarly, with the, this value, second row, first, first one. We consider two one one zero. So two one one zero. Second value is this four. So just draw like this. One one two zero. So we can say one one two zero. Now for the third value, third value is this is, so one, two, two, one, one, two, two, one. So this will be your matrix over here. One, two, two, uh, third one is, yes, one, two, two, one. Okay, let me make this bracket little bigger because uh, we have to take some other values as well. So, now consider is this much okay so it will be easy for us to do that wait a second so there now we are going to consider the third matrix what will be the third matrix as usual we have to give our order that means plus minus and uh, sorry minus and plus okay now we're going to consider the third value for the third row this one and this one the remaining is two one four one Okay, so 2141, one, we are going to write 2141. One. Now the second value, second value also you have to consider, the second value is this. So, so 1131. One. So 1131. One. And the last one, the last matrix is zero. That means the row, this is the column. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have to consider one two three four okay now transpose of this okay before i go to the transpose part let's start finding the determinant of the whole matrix okay since already you have completed determinants it will be easy for you to understand so now in the determinant of two by two normally you do cross multiply four times zero minus one times one so first value is negative one why i'm putting negative one because already plus the minus is minus 3 times 0 is 0, 2 times 1 is 2, so negative was existing before, so I can write plus 2. 3 ones are 3, minus 2 ones are 2, so 3 minus 2 is 1, so positive 1. Now 2 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1, negative 1, so 1 times 1 is 1, and negative 1 was there, and negative is present, so I'll be plus 1. Now, 1 times 0, 0, 2 times 1, 2, so negative 2. 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, so 1 minus 4 is negative 3, so it should be positive 3. Okay, 2 times 1 is 2, 4 times 1 is 4, so 2 times minus 4 is negative 2. 1 minus 1 minus 3, negative 2, so negative was present, 2 plus 2. 1 times 4 is 4, 4 minus 6, 3 minus 2, 2 6, 4 minus 6 is minus 2 plus minus minus negative two okay now you are going to write after transpose what are you going to get after the transpose 
So you can see negative one, one, negative two. So negative one, one, negative two. Uh, two, negative two, and plus three, right? And one, three, negative two. So this is my adjoint of the matrix M. Adjoint of the matrix. So it is a three by three matrix when it is going to be find a joint of the matrix, you have to follow this process. Okay. Now, if you ask that if you're going to be four by four or five by four, so how you're going? The same method will be followed. So it will be split into, four, if you are going four by four, so you can see three by three is matrix giving two by two determinant. So definitely if you go for four by four, you will get three by three determinant. So all of the values you have to separately calculate and put one by one. Okay, now let's let me take you to the next part of uh, this topic that is called inverse of matrix. Okay, now inverse of matrix are related to your previous learning of determinant, okay, and adjoint. So, what is inverse? What is the notation? Notation is like power minus one so one by date of a determinant of a and adjoint of a there is another way to represent that is one by determinant of a times adjoint of a so you have learned what is determinant you have learned what is adjoint okay now you can use this formula to find your answer for example I'm solving one example of two by two, then I will assign some problem to you. Hmm. So that you will try. So I have taken two, one, three, two as a two by two matrix. As you know, if I call this matrix as my A matrix, so determinant of A will be two times two is four minus three, that is one. Okay, now if I'm going to find a joint of A, a joint of A will be uh, plus, minus, minus, plus, and they are transpose. So, sorry, I think I have taken the right. So, they are transpose, plus, minus, minus, plus. Okay, now the transpose is, what is that? Two we are going to consider, so it will be two. One, if you consider, it will be three. Three, it will be considered means one. Two, it will be considered means two. The transpose of eight will be two minus one and negative three, two. This is your adjoint. Now together when you're going to find what is the inverse of the matrix, I'm writing here itself. So inverse will be one by determinant of A, one by determinant of A means one, right? Determinant of A is one, sorry, I will do something. So we can write directly one by one and the matrix, adjoint matrix that is two, negative one, negative three and two so if you multiply this value you will get two minus one minus three two so this is your inverse of matrix i hope you understand yes uh it's a little confusing but i can try it it's a little confusing though Okay, so you can watch this video and 